What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I just... Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna push the start button. We're, gonna, we're just gonna do it. Welcome to Let's Play Dead Rising. Uh, some of you are peeing your pants right now with excitement, and I am peeing my pants in fear. This game defeated me. Very few of you will remember it because I think I only had two or three hundred subscribers at the time, but this was the second game I ever attempted to LP, uh, and I was not able to finish the game. I was capable of beating the game on my own, but the combination of commentary and attempting to get certain achievements that will not be named made it nearly impossible for me, and I actually ended up rage quitting and didn't finish the LP. I took all the videos down, and that was that. And now I have returned to Dead Rising to get my revenge. I am going to destroy this game. And here's how it's going to happen. We are going to play through two and a half times, pretty much. Uh, the first time through, I'm not going to be going for any particular achievements or, or like skill. I'm going to start with a brand new character, because this game lets you do new game pluses, and that's what we'll be doing the second run on. I'm going to start with a fresh new noob of a character, and I will show you how to beat the game from the start with... Uh, no, nothing basically flat out with no advantages from previous playthroughs. So, let's get started, and welcome once again to Let's Play Dead Rising. I, oof, oh man, this game, this game, man. I think, I think, I, I have high hopes. I just, oh man, I have this sense of dread like there's zombies in my in my house. It's like, oh, what is going to happen next? I don't even... Meow. Damn four good buddy. That's not hey, buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> okay, so he's a journalist. Got it. Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics? Jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Well, it's always a National Guard to me, but sure. <laughs> Looks like taking the helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Okay, so... Whew, Dead Rising. This game. Oh, this game. I don't even know where to start here. Uh, hmm. I, I really don't know where to start. I guess I'll just play and let it let it unfold on its own. I am gonna. I don't remember the plot. I mean, I don't remember the plot in any great detail. I remember. How do I zoom in? Goodness gracious. Nope, that's not it. Took like a picture of some cars. Good work. There we go. B and A. That's weird. That guy needs to get some braces for his legs. He's limping all over the place. Uh oh. Whoa! What is that? Some kind of riot? Sure. That dude's in bad shape, man. 
He needs to have a, some Asian guy on top of a building come over and uh, <laughs> tell him to get out of that damn tank. Look at him waving his arms like, HELP ME! Is this what you came to take pictures of? It's not gonna end well, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> you can just farm off some, some uh, prestige points sure here. Is. Oh! Oh god! Oh god. Frank doesn't even freak out. He's just like, yeah, that's what I came to take photos of. Oh! Oh god! Brutality! <laughs> Alright, dude, you're seriously freaking out. I have Ooh, a no playground! Idea, one thing's for sure. Whatever's going on down there, it's not business as usual in this town. Okay. We got a school bus? Interesting. A lot of zombies there. I mean, question marks. Don't know what those are. Just guessing here. Could be zombies. Who, re who really knows these things? What a bad place to get stuck in a school bus. Actually, I think... I, I guess there's going to be some inevitable... I should give some background on this game. Because there's going to be some inevitable comparisons between this game and other zombie games. If I recall correctly, this game came out before the Left 4 Dead series. It came out before The Walking Dead. It came. Oh, I gotta watch this one real carefully here. Whoa! If you get the photo of that, you can get tons of prestige points for it. Yeah! <laughs> like, like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Yeah! Brutality! <laughs> fire! Pictures of fire! So. Basically, for me, this game, I don't know if this was the actual start of the whole zombie f craze that's been going on for the past several years. This game came out in 2006, so I think it actually hit the ground a little bit before the whole zombie craze started. But I, don't know if it's, I don't know if this game could be attributed as part of the spark that started it but it's probably not too far from the truth. <laughs> no genre. This won't end well for you, lady. How did you even get up on that roof? How did all those zombies get up on that roof? Oh, no, you can't run that way. There's a zombie over there. There's a zombie on your roof. Oh, come on, Carl can shoot better than that. He <laughs> throws the gun. What are you even doing? Wait, no, don't look at me! Lady, behind you! Behind you! Ah! <laughs> I'm barely still in the frame. Oh, Jesus! I want to see the center of town. Take me there. Ah, oh, good. The opening cutscene is done. They give you that view to kind of set the tone for the game. Yeah, so for me at least, this this was the very beginning of the whole zombie craze, or at least very near to the beginning, uh, the newest era of zombie-related fiction, which seems to have it's reaching its peak, I think, and it's going to start winding down soon with The Walking Dead kind of having already reached its hype maximum and is now just a show, a TV show. <laughs> First couple seasons it was like ridiculous. Now it's less. Hey. Can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me! Man, you are nuts. He is probably nuts. That's the best explanation. All right, listen. Hmm, what's in the suitcase? Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. My suitcase! Damn it, is this gonna be just like uh, Pulp Fiction and we never get to see what's inside the briefcase? Disappointing, to say the least. Get us back down to that rooftop! I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. 
I don't know, maybe he's into that kind of thing. We're going down. Tuck and roll, Frank! Tuck and roll! Don't jump into the blades now, please. Also, not a half bad roll. He didn't even break his camera, look at that. So like I say, this first playthrough is going to be to experience the plot of the game. We're not going to be going for any particular achievements or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to be watching the cutscenes and... Hello there. It might not be perfect play. It definitely won't be, in fact. You're the reporter, aren't you? Hello, senor. Yeah. Uh, you... came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, going on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? Did, did, you, not, did you not just see it? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. It doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. You just put your finger on it, Frank. <laughs> there you go. Almost as if... everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Um. Frank's just like, what the hell is this guy talking about? <laughs> he doesn't even look particularly concerned yet. Frank is just not at all phased by this. Alright, September 19th, it is noon. The game starts. So this game has a time dynamic that's built into it really heavily, and everything revolves around what time it is and your schedule of what's happening when, and that's what makes the game difficult to play really, really well, because it's, it's easy to get distracted and fall behind on your schedule and what's supposed to be happening in the plot. Let's examine this. So that's one of the things you have to make careful to care for, is, um, much like in Pikmin, you have to have a good plan or you're not going to succeed. so weird to be seeing this without any screaming. What in the world? Hungry Riot? What? Hmm. Let's bust on out of here and see what the hell's going on. Some sort of strange, very hungry rioters have, are eating people. Presumably their brains. Who knows? Could be any body part, really. They could just be eating the shoulders. Maybe they prefer flank steak. Don't really know. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a way to make a joke about fingers without it being really grotesque. I don't think I can do it. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Looks like people are already losing their minds. Hey, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? <laughs> Frank's like, what? I want to ogle. What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. 
If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? Uh, zombie sounds like a good description to me. There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. Andale! Come on, pronto! Hmm. Mysterious Hispanic women. What mysteries could there be? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh... Can't even talk to her. Okay. Yeah, that, that guy has a shotgun. Okay, Brian. Brian has the shotgun. I'm gonna want to get that. <laughs> uh, he's not gonna need it, you know. <laughs> Kathy and Alan back here. Old couple. Every time I come shopping with you, something happens to raise my blood. Oh man, I love it. Even during the zombie apocalypse, they're still having little, little petty old person arguments. Huh? You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about! Rumpf! Bah humbug! What the? <sighs> uh -oh. I think shit is about to hit the fan. Well, arm yourselves, citizens! What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick! Move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick! To the stairs! Move! Frank's like, ah, oh, crap. There's a hundred zombies between me and the stairs. Every time I go shopping, something... <laughs> All right, let's see. We've got benches. Where's my baseball bats? One, two. Dana Sims is dead. Oh God. Todd Mandel is dead. I'm gonna take a. No, let's not use a bench. No, I don't want that. Drop it. So we have an inventory that's able to hold four items right now. Oh man, everyone's dying. Where's Brian? Brian! I need your shotgun, Brian. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of avoid the zombies as much as possible. Should be. Them. It should be around a body somewhere that has a shotgun under it. Let's see if I can find it. It's a hunk of meat. Is this it? Oh, there it is. I see it on the floor. Pick the right corpse. Great. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna take that shotgun with me. Alright. I even got a bag of chips so I can refill my health when I get up there. Oh, get off of me. So when a zombie grabs onto you like that, you have to flick the joystick back and forth to throw them off of you. You also take a, uh, a health, a chunk off of your health every time they grab you, even if you get away. You know, for how slow they are, they sure were a hell of a hell of a lot of them that got in there really quick. It's like the door opened, three or four of them walked in, and all of a sudden there's two hundred. It's like huh? what? Where are the others? Um... Well, you see... I don't know. I hope they got away.
Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh. As long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Frank is just confused. All the time. The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. Ooh. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? Actually, I only take pictures of, fact, of pretty ladies, so, uh... Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Frank's just like, shit, no one wants to talk to me. Where'd your shoulder strap go, Frank? You, what? <laughs> Frank's like, brown chicken, brown cow. You really seem to know what you're doing. She knows how to use a digital camera. Anyway? I mean, what? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? Nope. <laughs> Thanks for showing me, though. Nope. <laughs> no information for you, sir. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. <laughs> authorized? What? Is that how it's going to be? Time until helicopter arrival. 71 hours, 34 minutes. Okay, Doug, let's eat some potato chips. Whew. Hello there, Otis. The text is tiny, so I hope it's it's readable. You ain't planning on going back in the mall, are you? Well, if you do go, at least take this transceiver with you. You better take this map, too. I don't know why he has a southern accent, but he does. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything else for us to see in here. Nothing else to say, Jesse? I can't answer your questions. I'm gonna take your apple with me, then. Ha! Ah. Alright. Yeah, so this run is flat out... Uh, Hitting the ground running with a character that I've not done anything with. Brand new noob. So we're at level 1, which means we're going to have to spend some time in this playthrough trying to get our level up so that we will be a more functional character. Basically, as you level up, you learn new abilities, you move faster, you do more damage, you get more health, you have a larger inventory. It just generally makes the game easier in a lot of ways going to take a picture of this air vent because it's a good habit when you start the game to take a picture of the vent. Fantastic. Not only do you get a thousand prestige points for it, but it's actually useful for one of the quests. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at my picture viewer. You can see all the photos here that I took during the opening scenes. And I can lock that photo in place so it doesn't get erased. Okay, so let's look at our status here. This is our character, Frank West, level 1. And you can see the various blocks of progress here. So we are a total noob, and there's a lot, there's a long way to go. You know, even, your throw, even the distance you throw things increases, wow. Yeah, so your attack power with melee weapons increases. Your speed, which is your walking movement, increases. You get uh, more life energy, a larger item stock, up to, up to maximum of 12 for the two of them uh, each, and then throw distance for items that are thrown. So if we look at key items, you can see the silly things we have. Let's look at skills. There's a huge list of, I guess it's only eight things, but still, we don't have any of them yet. And those are, I guess, probably five or six of them are really useful, so we need to get our character leveled up. And there's a lot of ways to do that. Hello, sir. If you see my wife, Natalie, she should be around here. Why don't you just uh, come with me, sir, and we will go find your wife. I think she's just around here on the other side of the building. I think I heard a lady say, hey, mister. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard, at least. Mister! There it is. <laughs> Jeff Meyer joined. You get a prestige points bonus. Join bonus. 5,000 prestige points. 
Uh, prestige points are what make you level up. You can see our little bar up under our health. It's about halfway full. Natalie, you are one badass bitch. Oh gosh, they're having a tearful reunion <laughs> by running into each other. <laughs> Fantastic! Wow, that was a lot of prestige points in that photo. That was pretty good. Gosh, I got like eight thousand off of it. That fucked me. It took me almost up to level two. Nice. And we got an achievement. <laughs> Let me just stop for a moment and take a look at what those were. I wasn't planning that. It's just good for prestige points. Get at least 3,000 prestige points from a single photo. Get at least 1,500. Sure. That wasn't too hard. You can get it right there at the beginning. Uh, hey, folks. Sorry about your joyous reunion, but let's go back to the safe house, the security room. You will be safe there. You can put your golf club down, sir. <laughs> Oh, we got our first level up. It's nice you can get one off the game really quick here at the beginning. Yeah. And we get a new skill. I think it's the zombie ladder. Zombie ride skill. Yes, yeah, so now if we go and look at our status, we can go to skills. And we'll see we have zombie ride. It allows you to climb on unsuspecting zombies. You can even long walk along the top of zombie crowds. Press A while pushing L towards nearby standing zombies. Yeah, so you can climb on top of the crowds of zombies, which is pretty hilarious for the first thing that you learn how to do. <laughs> you think you'd learn how to jump kick or, or like somersault or something first. Nope, you can surf on crowds of zombies. <laughs> this game is kind of comical some of the time, and then other times it's just weird. So like I was saying, there's a lot of ways to get prestige points in this game, and if you want as many as you can get your hands on to level up, your uh, best way to get them is to... Escort people back to safety. That's 20,000 and another level up for us. Really quick, off the bat, you yeah. get two level ups. This might be the zombie ladder. Let me just, whoops, let me check and see. A jump kick, cool. So you can uh, kick in mid jump now, which is nice. Honestly, I'd rather have a life upgrade or a stock upgrade or even a movement speed upgrade, but still. The jump kick is actually nice. It's a good way to clear rooms. I'm not going to take the elevator because I want to go across the tops in here and get a sledgehammer. So my goal for this run at the very beginning especially is to show off the hidden items, the really good items that are hidden near the beginning of the game so that you can actually get through it with a low level character. Oh, Otis is calling. It's Otis back at the security room. I don't give a crap what you have to say, Otis. I hate you, in fact. We're not listening to Otis this this let's this uh run through unless we uh decide we want to. Don't cut me off like that, it's rude. Here's what I was saying. Yeah. But you can't even jump while you're talking to him. You're basically completely vulnerable while he's talking to you. Uh, yeah, he's just saying check the map, you can save your game in the bathroom. Got it. I'm gonna go over here and replace my baseball bat with a sledgehammer. And then Oh, we're gonna get another achievement here too. <laughs> free fall it's f fall for more than 10 feet or something like that all you have to do is walk off the edge there and you'll get it it doesn't even give you damage yeah this game has a lot of cutscenes at the beginning but it'll start to open up pretty soon zombies huh had a feeling you'd show up Sneak up on me. <laughs> Don't sneak up on me. I was attacked. <laughs> I located him on the monitor. Oh. It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. Actually, they did. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. God, this is the most lame line in the whole game. I've covered wars, you know. I can fight zombies. I took photos in Darfur. It's just, oh my god. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. 
All right, and thus the game proper begins. I have a sledgehammer hovering above my head. We just engaged case 1-1. One, one. We're going to try and do all of the cases, uh, which is the main plot line in this run-through. In the next run-through, we're going to stop at a certain point, because we're not going to want to finish them. Because this game has multiple endings. And for this first run, we are going to get the canon ending, which is the st standard ending that you, that you would write, uh, like you'd find on Wikipedia or whatever, if you, looked up, if you looked up a plot synopsis of the game. And it's the one that actually... Well, I don't want to spoil it, but it's one of the two good endings. I'll put it that way. It's And it, it leads to what's called the true ending. So that's where we're headed for this first run-through. But uh, that is all for this episode. So thanks for watching. I have a sledgehammer right there. <laughs> Whatever item you have in your hand before that cutscene gets put above your head and then falls <laughs> and the cutscene ends because she gives you the, the handgun. Uh, Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Dead Rising when we venture out into the mall proper. I should pause so I don't waste time talking here. And fight some zombies. See you then.